Hello guys and welcome to my bathroom. Um, the reason we're in here today is because I brought a lot of things with me that need a spot and it's already pretty messy in the cabinets under my bath in my bathroom. Um, so let me give you a quick layout of the situation and then we're gonna get into some organizing. All right, so this is under the sink. Um, there's not really a rhyme or reason to what's under there. And then kind of the same thing with in the mirror cabinet. And then I have this whole other place to put stuff. This is all nail stuff, which will be helpful for a future video that you'll see. And then most of this is other bathroom stuff, except for those LED lights, which I'm gonna take out. But, yeah, that's what we're working with right now. Um, I want to give everything, like, a cohesive place to go. Because I feel like everything is just kind of, like, scattered all over the place right now. So, let's do that. And let's just take everything out and we'll reorganize. Okay, so to the naked eye, this probably looks worse. But basically what I'm going to try to do is put all my skincare stuff in a medicine cabinet. And then... Try to fit all my hair stuff in the bottom cabinet down here. And then try to fit all my nail stuff in the big closet over there. So let's try. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is try to fit all my hair stuff in the cabinet down below the sink. And then I think I'm also going to put makeup in the closet because... I just like don't have room for it with my skincare stuff and the few like medicine things I'm in the medicine cabinet. Sorry. Let's go. Okay. Oh, you are not centered. Okay, so now to take care of the cabinet, which this is gonna be kind of a beast. Um or the closet, I mean. This one is gonna be a little hard because I don't know if you can tell, but this, this bag is literally full of stuff for nails. So, I wanted to like designate a shelf to nail stuff and then if there's still room, I'll put makeup stuff on there. So let's go. Well, putting all that stuff away made me realize I should probably invest in maybe some better storage for my makeup. So I'm gonna finish this when I do that, which should be in like the next couple days. But for now, everything looks pretty all right. Um, I have perfume, extra deodorant, makeup, all my other stuff over there, and then there's random stuff up here. Everything else looks pretty good. So, as I said, all the skincare stuff is in here and a couple random things there. Then down here is all my hair stuff and some tampons. So I have brushes, my straightening brush thingy, rollers back there, which I don't think you can see that, just ponytails. Um, and yeah, a couple extra lotions that I randomly found and like a ton of scrunchies. So, excuse my weird, what, what is this sand? It's like, am I, am I Spider-Man? But, <laughs> but yeah, I will be back when I decide to better organize my makeup. All right, excuse my appearance right now, but it is many days, but, 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 it's many days later, and my organizer has come in the mail. Actually, I got it a few days ago, but I just, I was working and I didn't really feel like stuck. Here's everything that needs to fit in there. So let's try and I'll show you the end results. All right, so for now, here's what it looks like. Down here, I have two eyeshadow palettes. In there, I have concealer, my regular mascara, and a palette. Then in there I have my foundation and liquid blush. 
then I have all of my mini like benefit blushes and highlighter and then I have my two little mini Versace perfumes beauty blender setting spray primer brushes lip liner all my lip stuff and a little mini mascara and then setting powder so that is the whole makeup thing and yeah i think everything fits pretty well um obviously there's not a lot of lip products in there right now but i have plenty more at the other house so it's almost summer and we know what that means it's time to reorganize the closet so I am not at this house super often during the winter, but I did put out winter stuff. And then there's just like a lot of stuff piled on the top shelf that I'm like, honestly not really sure what everything is. And I brought a lot of stuff with me for summer in my suitcase. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get everything in this closet. And just a preface, don't mind the two air conditioning units in here because I am not smart enough to install those, so my dad is going to be doing that, and I'll film the final reveal when those are gone. But that being said, let me give you a little tour of what's in here. So basically, that is a thing of bathing suits down there. Sweatpants, sweatshirts, um, workout clothes, underwear and socks, random like lotion and stuff that I don't know why that's in here but um extra sheets random stuff I put up here probably in November uh, I don't really remember hey that rhymed uh random laundry basket that I never use snow pants other clothes broken dress random bags and then a couple things hanging and then the floor is really the um the blanket and the towel was because we were, why am I putting my foot on it, was because we were bringing a painting up here that was like really fragile, so those are still in my closet for some reason, and there are shoes somewhere under here, another bag, and hats. So as you can see, it's a little bit messy, and then I have, I have this entire suitcase full of stuff that I'm going to try to fit into the closet. So, that being said, I'm going to take everything down from the top shelf. Okay, so what most of that stuff on the top shelf was is um, stuff that I brought home from college when it was getting a little colder. And then I guess I just brought it up here. I'm not really sure why. Mm, maybe because it was summer clothes and you live there during the summer. But honestly, some of it, like... I don't even know why I have some of this anymore, so I'm like, I think I'm gonna create a bag to get rid of stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna move winter stuff up into the top of the closet. And then we can unpack the suitcase. This is gonna be a long process. Alright, pretty much everything I got rid of was like old stuff from Brandy Melville because let's be honest, do I look like I'm fitting in Brandy Melville? No. And honestly, I think maybe just because I my body is too big for it, but like it stretches out like the wide way and doesn't really stretch back until you wash it. So I'd rather have better quality like cute little tank tops. I'm sensing an Aritzia haul in the future, let's be honest. But... Ew, sorry for that gross sniffle, but now I'm going to move all the stuff I don't think I'm going to wear until winter up there. So I'm going to keep like one pair of sweatpants and one or two sweatshirts down because it still might get a little cold. Um, so I'm going to keep some cold stuff down here, but not too much because I have so much stuff to put in this closet. It's crazy. Alright, so I moved all my winter stuff, and now I'm going to take everything off the floor and put it back in its respectful place before I take everything out of the suitcase. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, so I took a couple hours of a break because I was tired. So I have a cute little pile of clothes 
the one that I kind of just dusted off the top shelf onto the floor. Um, I have that here. So I'm going to fold all of this and then I'm going to dump my suitcase onto the bed too and then fold that. So actually, you know what? Why don't we just dump it now in real time? Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't put it. Oh. Mm, I probably shouldn't put a suitcase that has been to the airport many times on my white bedspread. So I'm just going to start throwing shit onto the bed. So you may be asking yourself, Ava, do you think you brought enough clothes with you? Like... And, you know, <laughs> okay, it's looking a little overwhelming, but we're going to get through it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I did do this to myself, obviously, but still, listen, the reason, the reason why I brought so much with me is because I will be up here for the majority of the summer. So, I'd like to have enough clothes with me. And my other room is a little claustrophobic, to be honest. So I wanted to have, um, I wanted to do my vacation outfit planning up here rather than down there so that I would have good lighting, good mirror, and not have to stress about throwing all of my clothes all around the room and making a massive mess. All right, now I'm gonna start putting some stuff in the closet. Wish me luck. All right, now is the trouble of hanging things up, which is not hard, it just takes a while. So let's get started. All right, everything is hung up. I think for now it looks pretty okay. Um, I might get more organizational stuff down the line, but can you tell that I love wearing a dress? Can you tell? Um, I'm super upset with myself because I just snagged this. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, I mean, obviously I'm still gonna wear it, but oh, I'm so mad at myself for doing that. Anyways, this is the only thing I didn't hang up because I have to get it fixed because I ripped a hole in one of the sleeves, which I'm so mad about, but I need to bring it on vacation and I'm definitely not getting rid of it just because of a hole. So I'm going to take it to the tailor to get it fixed. And I just have my little corsets over here and eventually those air conditioning units will be moved. And look, you can kind of see my shoes. So overall, everything looks pretty all right. I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it for now. So yeah, thanks for coming with me on this journey, and uh, you saw a little sneak peek of my closet, but there will definitely be a lot more showing of the clothes when I am getting ready to pack for my vacation. Um, and definitely on my vacation vlogs, you will see some great outfits of the day, so stay tuned for that. And thanks for stopping by. I hope this inspired you to clean your own closet, or it was just somewhat like somewhat satisfying you know but uh yeah that's all i have for you today and i will see you later